Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And this video is about the character design of Cubby the Lion. And I'm going to do a series of videos about the making of Cubby the Lion. And Cubby the Lion will be an interactive picture book with narration and also uh, with music and maybe some sound effects. But let's first start out with the character design of Cubby the Lion. The initial designs for Cubby the Lion were made for a client because I'm a freelance illustrator and I also make apps, especially apps of uh, children's books because they're interactive and you can uh, you know, play around with them and I also add uh, narration, music and sound effects and for the publisher I've made this app called the Gelukkige Olifant and it was a fun project because I uh, got a chance to uh, animate illustrations from another illustrator and I also did the interactive design of the app and in that way you have to think about the story in a different way for the same publisher we were developing another app and it was more uh, of an educational app and I did some designs of the character and I have it still here uh, in my uh, motor skin and there were designs of uh, a little lion because their logo is uh, a lion it's called Leopold and uh, I'll show you here uh, these were the, the first sketches I did and I did it with pen and later on I did some sketches in, in pencils and there was just one um, illustration that really got me started and there I developed the character of Cubby the Lion because he was, it's difficult to explain but when you design things you uh, try out new forms and um, I wanted it to be a, a bit of a cute animal or uh, maybe do a whole range of these characters like baby giraffes, baby uh, zebras and, and so on. And uh, this was the design that I was very excited about but the project was discarded and uh, these just stayed in my motor skin and I really didn't pay attention to it. but. It's always good, you know, to go through your old sketches. And uh, when I was doing Like So, that's a, a channel uh, which is uh, presented by Professor Dr. Antomo, another character of mine. And there I wanted to introduce a sidekick. And that became um, Copy the Lion. And I did the first designs of Cubby the Lion uh, in Procreate because I started to work in Procreate because I also wanted to do the the backgrounds of like so uh, in Procreate or on the iPad and see how far I could go with drawing things on iPad and I did the first designs of Cubby the Lion uh, in Procreate. This was the, the initial design for the character but I uh, imported these sketches into Anime Studio, which is now called Moho. And I made another design in vectors because that's easier to animate. But what I really liked about these sketches is that they're very painterly. So I started to develop an, another idea of, of Cubby the Lion and I made some other sketches and uh, while I was working on uh, uh, these drawings, I discovered that it would be fun, you know, to make a story of Cubby the Lion told throughout his uh, point of view. And he's a bit different because he has dreadlocks and he looks different than any other uh, lion cub. And that started uh, the idea to make him a, a, a painter and that he is not really accepted because he's different. Well, I'm still making uh, some design choices and the thing I really know is that I'm going to use one brush and in Procreate that's the Gishinsky brush. And I really like it because it's a very versatile brush and I want to keep the artwork of 
copy the line uh, very painterly and with that brush you re really can achieve that effect and I'll just show you some uh, things like uh, how I uh, paint uh, an illustration with that that brush and and these are just uh, the the basic sketches I'm doing and I'm now in the, the progress of writing the story and I really have to find out a, a way to write it because it's going to be told throughout the eyes of the cub of uh, Cubby the Lion and you have to think in a different way then because you have to think like a, a lion cub which is difficult of course but you have to be more of a child and look at things in a different way. The design of uh, Cubby the Lion is uh, very simple. He is two and a half heads high so I first draw the, the head and then I draw the same head underneath and is just very simple in design and to make a character cute it's always good you know to have big ears big hands and big uh, feet and here I'm just sketching him I'm using the Kaczynski ink brush and I think that's the brush I'm really going to uh, use to illustrate this story and I'm just now making a, a quick sketch and the uh, character design of Cubby the Lion and he has a little uh, belly that's sticking out and when I'm drawing the feet I first draw in some boxes to give them more shape and depth and later on I can round them up but that's a good way of getting more volume into your character because it's a very round character but sometimes it's good to have some angles in your design so that it doesn't all become too smooth and I'm just drawing the guidelines for his hairs and then I know where I can put the dreadlocks of Cup the Line because he has dreadlocks so he, he looks a bit different than any other lion cub. And I'm just trying to keep it very simple and that's most of the time that's the, the hardest part. You know, to, uh, the most simple designs um, are harder to draw than a very intricate uh, character because you only have a few lines but I'm going to paint it anyway so now I'm uh, applying the paint and I'm using the tilt function of the Apple Pencil and in that way you can get very nice effects and you can play around with the tilt function when you do the settings right so you can switch between the tilt of your Apple Pencil and when you have it sideways you have a bigger image to fill and when you have it upwards you can do a little bit more of a detail and I'm building this up with um, just doing the the basic shapes first and then later on I'll draw in more details and what really worked for Cup the Line was that his eyes are wider apart because I you know played around with uh, a lot of uh, other designs and this is what I have uh, come up with but this is the the one character and that's the the basic character of the story but I also need to draw all the other lions and other animals that will be in the story in the same style so I'm still developing that but this is a, a good start for the story I saw that I also made a video already about the design of a, a lion cup and that was copy the line and I'll leave a link in the description box down below and or you can press on the eye on the upper right corner then you go straight to that video and that's more a, a detailed video about um, drawing characters in five steps 
great thing about drawing in Procreate or painting in Procreate is that you can record everything you're drawing. So I recorded this drawing, so now I'm going to show it so that you can see it in more detail. If you have any questions about uh, the Copy the Lion story, you can follow me on Twitter and my Twitter is Stave Draws and just put a hashtag ask Stave and then ask the question you want to know about the Copy the Lion project. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!